Hello everyone, my name is Darcy and I'm here today just to do a quick tutorial on how to use Plan Linux to configure multiple Wine versions. Uh, in case if you're not familiar with this, uh, Plan Linux is a front end for Wine, which actually allows you to manage multiple Wine installations for in configurations for each application. So it's saying currently that I don't have 3D acceleration, but I do have. It's actually the new NVIDIA drivers that don't inform the program that it is providing 3D acceleration. Unfortunately, that's happening, but that's not a big deal because it's actually working well. Uh, so games will work. Um, let's actually just prove it that it does work. We go to environment, settings environment, and actually system, sorry and we can actually click on 3d test and if this is running it means that it's that it does have a 3d acceleration uh, now the times and things it's about your graphics card your configuration systems and so on and so forth but now let's get to the good stuff which is the wine versions so you come to tools and manage wine versions you can just pretty much click it and you'll see the all the wine versions available um, this includes 64-bit versions as well and the wine version that you have installed in my case I have three versions because the programs that I use um, so pretty much you can select and click add and forward and just starts downloading and installing I'm gonna cancel because I don't really need that one but that's the process you just do the wizard thing and install the wine version once it's done this way you can ensure that you use the best wine version for the program specifically um, let's say you want to install an application just click here install and if the application does exist in this list is recommendable to use this list which is a easy install for these applications that are here but if it is not don't worry you can still use it to install applications you just come here install a pull package or an unsupported application and you select manual if it, you have a, a pool package uh, which means like a play on Linux package you can just install it but if you don't manual installation will do and you click next and follow the wizard you select install a program in a new prefix if it is a new program that you're installing you give it a name for example demo because we are doing demonstration we check here because we want to configure wine for this specific application and give it a specific wine version so we do forward we select which wine version do we want to use in this case I'm gonna use this one just an example we do the forward and now it's gonna ask us if we want to install gecko gecko is like more or less a HTML uh, reader rendering HTML on games and applications it works um, um, majority of times under online games like Guild Wars for example so it's recommended to install I'm currently not gonna install because we don't really need this is just a demonstration then we go and browse for wherever we might have as um, as a Windows or uh, yeah, as an executable of other thing like of our application so I don't have any here because <laughs> I got rid of ma majority of Windows apps. Let me check. Um, yep, I don't have any. <laughs> but anyways, you just go for your executable, and that will open the executable installation process, and you just follow the wizards. That's it, really. The bottom line is you'll have this folder in your home folder in dot play on Linux. If you don't know how to see hidden files, you just control H uh, and so wine prefix you select the folder wine prefix here and each of your apps that you select to install as a new prefix will have their own folder and their files will be inside so this will be like a windows structure so being the drive C here and all this stuff yeah that's pretty much it so hope you enjoyed and it was easy to understand and to follow uh, I'll post this now and if you enjoy just rate the video it's always useful